blow the top off the... Well, I'll wait right till, you know, until I think it's going and then I'll, I'll do it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build some pressure up in this system. And then we're going to light... And you might stay back again, just in case, no, 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 that, just in case that goes. What we're going to do is we're going to build up some pressure, turn this off, turn this valve on, and then light the end of that and see if a flow flow rate makes a difference. We'll check this with our gauge here, too, in a minute. All right, so build up just a little. I'll go ahead and try it. Build up a little more. It'll hold a little bit more of that. Up some more. I'll watch it until it gets about right. As you can see, it takes a minute to build up that kind of pressure. This gauge doesn't really work because it's kind of under the water. <laughs> I'm not too worried about you that. May, you may have too large of an orifice in the end of that uh, brazen tip. To I think so. Build sustained flame. I definitely think so. Alright, let's try it now. There we go. So. Last second, start blowing up. <laughs> yep, it's, it is. Smart Flash back. I gotta show him that so you can see that. I have to cut out a lot of this footage, but we'll we'll make it work. All right. Yeah, there's there's your smoke. You'll see it kind of poof out of there. Maybe I'll do it over here in the black. There you can see it. Alright, let's let's cut it off a minute. Let's just give it a second. And we'll try to get it flame going. <clears throat> Usually you can see that it'll start it'll start kind of pushing. Huh. It's only like 8 psi, it's going for like 15. I can make it tighter though. I can make it in cap, make it a little bit tighter. Tie breaker down, all wind blowing. All right, here we go. Uh, wow, got a point for two seconds. <laughs> so I definitely need higher flow rate. So uh, I'm gonna do that one more time, and then we'll check the flow rate. We'll see what it is at that high. Probably just peak out, but we'll try it. So with this tip, this torch head, and I'll uh, try to measure it, but it's it's tiny. It's not big at all. That's not going to be very focused, but it's a tiny little torch head tip. It's actually, it's much bigger than I would use. Uh, oh, that's cool. Alright, grab that uh, and we'll check, our, we'll check our rate real quick. I'll just let you look at it. Alrighty. And by the way, this valve is all the way open. It's not being regulated there. Although you can regulate it there, I'm not regulating it there. This is just straight out. I'll try to grab it kind of slow so we can see it. Alright, I'm uh, going to go ahead and try it now. What was that? Peaked right about 8. Yeah, it held steady about 8 and then it probably went down. So we'll say about 8. Eight liters per minute for this torch tip. It's quite a bit, really. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so the idea of this flashback arrestor, uh, which is not what I'm trying to build here, is to try to sustain a flame on the front of this disc. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. You ready? Yep. It's burning. Burning the plastic inside there. Now we're just burning rubber. I'm going to go ahead and blow it out so we can get that rubber out of there because I don't want it to melt down in there so bad we can't get it out. So there you go. So my answer 
and you helped me solve this problem, <laughs> thank you, is the fact that you can sustain a flame right on the front of that. So if we made this solid, we might have to go get the parts to make this solid. And we will uh, hopefully sustain a flame on the front of that disc. Now, the question is, how hot will it get? Dun dun dun. Alright, we're gonna take this we're gonna take this apart, but before we do that, I wanted to show you this. See if I can get here. You can actually see water reformed on the end of this end. You can see it melted that rubber. But you can see the water that formed on there. Which I thought was kind of interesting. So we thought we'd get it. Uh... Alright guys, I wanted to show you something real quick. This disc is ever I need some more light on here. Ever so slightly bulged. Um, and I think it's from the flashbacks. But I am not certain on that. But if you look through this way, there's ever so slightly a bulge on the end side. The side that was on the other side of the, of the burning. So I'm not sure if that's from burning or the flashbacks. But I would say over time these would probably break. We'll have to find out. All right, just to prove that this thing was bowed, go ahead. This is uh, this is proved that it's bowed Rocking on the a bit. on the back side where the flashback was not placing, taking place. And uh, I really think I looked at it right before we did the burn, and I really think that it actually did do that from the flashback. So my guess is, is if you had this in the very, very, very back of your hose, like way back here, it may not last very long. I had it right next to the torch head, so I was okay. <laughs> 